Hi all, I am Rishmi Elias from freshersworld.com. In today's video also, I will be dealing with the topic time and work. This is also an important topic for all the government exams. Moving on to the first question. A can do a piece of work in 25 days and B can finish it in 20 days. They work together for 5 days and then A goes away. In how many days will B finishes the remaining work? Hope you understood the question. So, first step is to find the total work to be done. For that, what we should do? We should take the LCM of the given days. That is 25 and 20. Now, how to find the LCM? Take the larger number that is 25. Check whether 25 is completely divisible by the other number that is 20. It is not divisible. Then, take the next multiple of larger number that is 25 into 2, 50. We know that 50 is not completely divisible by 20. So, 50 is not the LCM. Again, take the next multiple of 25. That is 75. 75 is also not divisible by 20. Again, take the next multiple of 25. That is 25 into 4, 100. We know that 100 is completely divisible by 20. So, the LCM is 100. That is, the total work to be completed is 100. So, we got the total work to be done as 100. Now, in the question it is said that A can do a piece of work in 25 days and B can finish it in 20 days. Next step is to find the efficiency. Efficiency is given by work by time. Here, total work to be done is 100 and A will complete the work in 25 days. That means efficiency of A is equal to 100 by 25. That is equal to 4. What does it mean? A will complete 4 work in 1 day. And what will be the efficiency of B? It is work done 100 divided by time taken for B to complete the work. That is 20. So 100 by 20 you will get it as 5. It means that B will complete 5 work in 1 day. And it is said that both of them worked together for 5 days. That means 1 day A will do 4 work and we will do 5 work. So, in total, they will do 9 work together. Like that, they worked for 5 days. That means, 9 into 5, 45 works are completed. So, what will be the remaining work? 100 minus 45, that is equal to 55. That is, the work left is 55. This work is done by B alone. We know that B will do 5 work in 1 day. So, to do 55 work, how many days will B take? That is 55 divided by 5. That is equal to 11 days. Let's see the next question. A can do a job in 10 days and B can do the same in 15 days. After working for 6 days, A left the job. In how many days will B complete the remaining work? So, first step is to find the total work to be done. That is LCM of 10 and 15. We know that 15 is not divisible by 10. So, 15 is not the LCM. Then take the next multiple. That is 15 into 2, 30. 30 is completely divisible by 10. So, the LCM is 30. That is work to be done is 30. It is said that A will complete the work in 10 days and B will complete the work in 15 days. And total work to be done is 30. Next step is to find the efficiency. We know that efficiency is equal to work by time. So, efficiency of A will be 30 by 10. That is 3. And efficiency of B is equal to 30 by 15. That is equal to 2. That is A will do 3 work in 1 day and B will do 2 work in 1 day. And it is said that A worked for 6 days and then left the job. That is work completed by A is 6 into 3. That is equal to 80 and total work is 30. So, remaining work will be 30 minus 18 that is equal to 12. This 12 work is done by B alone and we know that B will do 2 work in 1 day. So, in how many days will B complete the work that is 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 days. Moving on to the next question. A is twice as fast as B. A takes 3 days to complete the work. In how many days they together will complete the work? Here it is said that A is twice as fast as B. 
Sometimes you may take it as a is equal to 2 into b. That is wrong. Here it is said that a is faster than b. And a takes 3 days to complete the work. So how many days will b take to complete the work? b will take 6 days to complete the work. Here you may have some confusion. Think in this way. One who is faster will do the work in less number of days. So a takes 3 days means b will take Twice the number of days, that is 2 into 3, 6. Next step is to find the work to be done. So, it can be found out by taking the LCM of 3 and 6. We know that 6 is completely divisible by 3, so the LCM is 6. That is, the work to be done is 6. Next step is to find the efficiency. We know that efficiency is equal to work by time. So, what will be the efficiency of A? Work to be completed is 6 and the time taken for A to complete the work is 3. So 6 by 3, 2. And efficiency of B as 6 by 6 that is equal to 1. Now we know that total work to be done is 6. And if they both work together means we have to add the efficiencies of both of them. That is 2 plus 1, 3. Now to find the total number of days what we have to do? Work done by efficiency that is 6 by 3 that is equal to 2 days. With this we are winding up today's session. So thank you all.